Hi, I'm Izzy, and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. Welcome to episode 66 of Hashtag Friday Sews. All right, so Friday Sews is a little bit about what we've been doing in the sewing room and a little bit about life. And I've been busy in the sewing room this week. I came down here pretty much every single night since I got back from the island house on Sunday to sew. And I have nothing to share with you. <laughs> so I did finish something, but I can't share it with you just yet because it is my Think Pink project from Box 16 and a full video, the unboxing, the make, pattern review, all of that is going to come out on the channel on Tuesday next week. So that has kept me very busy this week. It was a super fun project to work on though. It was just, yeah, a little more involved than the last few things that I worked on. So super pleased with it, super happy with it, but can't really show you yet. So that's the one finished thing. And I have a ton of things right here, this whole pile is all things um, I've already got cut and ready to sew. And I don't know if you're anything like me, but I'm basically ordering my projects by color so that I don't have to change the threads on my serger. And usually, I have to say, usually it really doesn't bother me to have to do that. I've changed the threads on my serger so often now that I just boom, boom, zip through it, no problems. I've never, ever had any issues with my serger. It's a Juki 654DE. I got it a little over a year ago now, I think. And oh my goodness, the best purchase in terms of a sewing machine, the best purchase of my life. It's amazing. <clears throat> so yeah, so this whole pile is pretty much by order of thread color for the serger. So I just finished something that required white thread. So the next project on the list is this one here. I don't have any pink serger thread, so I'm just gonna use white for that one. And then it's going from, you know, darker to darkest at the bottom. So yes, yeah, so I have a bunch of things that are cut and ready for me to sew. Basically everything I shared with you in my June plans is in this pile. And I am excited to get going on those. So that's, um, yeah, that's what's been going on in the sewing room. So just working really, really hard this week on just the one project that I can't really share. In terms of life, um, work is just so busy, so, so, so busy. And I knew it would be in June. Um, the, I'm, I've been working on a huge project for about 18 months now. And the system, the new system is finally going live on July 3rd. So it's, you know, we're coming down to it. It's happening. It's just a lot of last minute things and writing of procedures and training our team. And yeah, it's just been a lot of work and I look exhausted and I feel exhausted. But I am finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and hopefully it's not a train. So yeah, I think should be getting back to normal in July after that system finally goes live. So really nothing else in terms of life. It's just been work and then come down here for a couple of hours until I can no longer stay awake basically and then go to bed and start all over again the next morning. So on the bright side though, the weather here in Montreal has been fabulous this week. Oh my goodness, it's been hot. It's been sunny. It's been amazing. And <laughs> of course now um, the forecast is for three straight days of rain. And Monday's a holiday here. So for the next three days, I'm going to be off and it's going to rain. 
And I mean rain, like big time rain. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's all good. I'm going to plan on relaxing and not doing a whole lot this weekend, I think. I wanted to come back on the last video I put up on the channel. So this Tuesday just passed where I spoke to you about five patterns that scare me. And not that this should be news to me, but I'm realizing through the comments on the video that we're really all in the same boat, aren't we? Um, we're all afraid of some of our patterns. We're afraid of trying new techniques. We're afraid of trying new styles. We're just afraid. I guess it's just, and afraid is a strong word, really. But I guess it's just human nature that getting out of our comfort zone is a little bit difficult. So I was toying with the idea earlier today of encouraging <clears throat> myself and all of you who said you're also afraid of trying new things to push ourselves and each other out of our comfort zone a little bit and do that through the use of a hashtag on Instagram. And I searched for it and there are very, very few posts under it. So yeah, I'm going to... I think I'm okay promoting it here. Let's all start sewing scared. <laughs> so hashtag sewing scared. So whenever you work on something and that you were afraid of or try a new technique and conquer your fears in your sewing, use the hashtag sewing scared on Instagram and I'll do the same and then we can all encourage each other and support each other in conquering our fears and trying new things and stepping out of our comfort zone just a little bit. Now, I'm not going to promise you that I myself I'm going to do that before the month of July just because I'm staying square within my comfort zone for the rest of this month. But you know, starting in July, anytime I try something new or attempt one of the five patterns that scare me, I will be using that hashtag, hopefully to get some encouragement and support from everybody out there. So yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Would that be something that you'd like to do? Is that a good idea? I just thought it'd be fun to kind of use that hashtag and create a scared community, <laughs> encouraging each other to, yeah, just try some new things in our sewing. The question of the week from Jen this week is a fun one. So who is your special companion in the sewing room? Um, do you have a pet, a friend, a family member, somebody in a crib maybe? that hangs out with you in the sewing room when you are in there. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you probably know about my little companion. So Bear, the black cat, who is always in here with me when I'm here, when he was a small kitten, would cause all kinds of trouble when I was trying to film videos. He's 18 months old right now, so a lot calmer. He sleeps a lot now. But most of the time when I'm down here, he is sleeping on my ironing station here. So I actually have to have one of those rollers for pet hairs in one of those drawers because I'm constantly removing bear hair from my ironing board. So what about you? Put that in the comment below. Who is keeping you company in your sewing room? Um, do you have any fur babies, any real babies? Is your partner, maybe husband, wife, hanging out with you in the sewing room? I would love to know. All right, so that'll do it for me this week. I hope you've had a fabulous week. I hope you're going to have a great weekend. I hope the weather is phenomenal where you are. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please give the video a like on your way out if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again, and I will see you soon.